at the start. Coming into the ring now for a middleweight contest is Ireland's Kieran Joyce to face this man, Philip Popolaka Vaka of Tonga. Now Joyce is uh, boxing at this weight, middleweight, uh, although he originally came here to box at light middle, but at the weigh-in before the draw was made, he failed that weight and decided to move up a weight. Now whether that's going to be of an advantage to him or a disadvantage remains to be seen. But Kieran Joyce is now ready to face Philip Popolaka Vaka, only 18, from Tonga. And Kieran Joyce in his second Olympics. He won one bout, lost the next one in Los Angeles to Neiman of Finland. Will he go further this time? Joyce from the right-hand corner against Vaka, the 18-year-old from Tonga. And the Irish have been very successful in this tournament so far. They've had three winners. They sent seven boxers here. Three of box, three of one. Box. Kieran Joyce against Philip Popolaka Vaka from Tonga. And Joyce, a very, very experienced man internationally. And he shouldn't be uh, phased by this sudden onslaught from the Tongan. Just needs to keep cool. No. Box his way. Low blow from uh, Vaka. He's southpaw. Joyce has been champion of Ireland six times since 1983. Tremendous record. And of course, his brother Gordon has had his share of success in Irish boxing as well. Well, Joyce has decided to uh, meet force with force and take the attack to the Tonga. Back are not uh, really experienced outside his own region. And he's going, going, almost gone after that two-fisted onslaught from Kieran Joyce. This may well be the end. Well, the referee thinks he's okay to continue. Well, perhaps Joyce could be very strong indeed at middleweight. He's been uh, straining to make light middleweight for a long time. He was originally a welterweight. And now, at long last, I suppose, he's relieved of the stress of making the 11 stone class and, uh, and let himself go a bit. Well, the Tongan trying to get his elbows down to cover up against this. But uh, he's bound to go, I think. Oh, that's the end of the first round, and that could well have saved the Tongan. Or at least, <laughs> I don't know what it saved him for, except more punishment. But he'll be coming out, I think, for the second round. Unless the referee has decided... Oh, the referee's going around to the officials. I think he may be indicating that he stopped it. It has been stopped, and the referee's making that clear to the judges. Um, from his signs to the judges, stopped because of head punches. RSC Medical, I think he's saying to the judges. So Kieran Joyce has come through very, very successfully. Uh, his first contest as a middleweight in these Olympic championships. 23 years old, a coal merchant from Cork, and uh, he put together a really searing series of attacks with two hands that in the end forced the Tongan out of this contest and allows Joyce to go through to the last 16. Here's another sample of the sort of two-fisted stuff Kieran was putting together. And uh, the Tongan, Tongan could do nothing but duck out of the way, and in fact he ducked his head into the punches, which meant that the referee had a reason to call it off. Too many head punches. Another look. Interesting, because the Tongan came out determined to fight two-fisted, and Kieran just switched the whole thing onto him. 
So there it is. That's how it all ended. Kieran Joyce, the winner at the end of the first round. He's through to the last 16 of the middleweights. Kieran Joyce keeping up Ireland's excellent record in the competition so far. That was.